Holly, the Twister Sister, and today we've got another awesome balloon tutorial for Tutorial Tuesday. Alright, so today's video is going to be pretty simple. We're only going to need three balloons and a headband. So what we're going to be making is mouse ears. Now you can do either a boy or a girl mouse, doesn't matter, but I'll show you both. And uh, you're going to need two black balloons and a red. These are all 260s. You could probably do a 350s or 160s. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter too much. Just three balloons and then I'll be using a half inch headband here that I got from Continental Sales. Link will be in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with the black 260. We're just going to put a little bit of air in here. You don't need a lot of air in these. So I've got a nice long tail there. Go ahead and tie that off. And we're gonna start off at the beginning with two small pinch twists. So try to make them as small as you can so that they don't take away anything from the ears. So there's our first pinch twist. You're gonna squeeze your balloon, make another small bubble, and then turn that into a pinch twist. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna do a small loop. So go ahead and squeeze your balloon to make it a little bit soft. And I'm gonna do a loop about as big as the width of my hand. And just go ahead and twist that. Okay, and now we're gonna bring the rest of our balloon up over our loop, all the way over it, and twist it back into our pinch twist at the base. So this is what you should have at the end. Now I've got a pinch twist that is actually deflating on me here. So I'm going to just go ahead and make another pinch twist here with my balloon. Get this all fixed back the way it's supposed to be. So don't freak out if you're twisting and something comes undone, you can always fix it, usually. <laughs> okay, so now this is what you should have. This is going to be one ear and we want to cut off the rest of this, but leave yourself a decently long tail and you're going to get rid of that and let the air out of here and now you don't even really have to tie that off because we're going to wrap it around our headband to attach it. So when you attach this, you want to make sure that your pinch twists are aligned like this. Okay, so you've got two of them going across the top of the headband. You don't want to turn them like this because then they can kind of engulf the headband and will actually push the headband up away from your head. So you want them to be sitting flat right on top of the headband. So just go ahead and wrap your tail around the headband and the pinch twist to attach it. Now we've got one ear and we're just going to do the same exact thing to make the other ear. So get your other black 260 and again we're going to start off with two small pinch twists. Just like that. Go ahead and Give your balloon a squeeze, fold it over, and twist the first loop. Now we're going to do the other loop right around it. Twist that off and back into our pinch twist at the bottom. Get everything arranged correctly now. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off the rest of this. We're going to attach it to the other side of our headband making sure we've got those pinch twists lined up the right way and that everything is even and, and looks nice. So that is how you make mouse ears. This is really simple. So here you go, you can see what they look like. Pretty cute. This looks really cute on little kids especially because they're kind of small ears. So if you put it on a little kid, it just looks perfect. But the adults love it too. Now that's a boy mouse. Um, if you want to do a girl mouse, and we're going to make it match my outfit today, go ahead and grab a third balloon. I'll be using a red 260. You can do any color you want, but I like red because I'm wearing red and black right now. 
Go ahead and leave yourself a nice long tail. We're not gonna be using too much of this. And we're gonna start off the same way with two pinch twists. You can make these pinch twists a little bit bigger though. So go ahead and do one and two pinch twists. Okay, now we're gonna do a loop on either side of the pinch twist. So one on this side, and then we're gonna bring our balloon over and do another loop over on this side. So go ahead and just squeeze your balloon out so it's nice and soft. And we're gonna do another loop about the same width as your hand. So like that, and then bring your balloon across over to the other side of your pinch twist. Squeeze it out and make another loop the same size. So now we've got a little bow, which is gonna look really cute, placed on our headband in between the ears. And you wanna go ahead and get rid of the rest of this tail here. You wanna leave a nice long tail for yourself to work with, okay? Now when you attach this to the headband, you wanna do it kind of loosely. If you do it too tight, the pinch twists are going to kind of grab the headband up and pull it up away from the head. And since we can't really put the pinch twist on the way they're supposed to sit, we've got to do it like this. So just do it just kind of real loosely. You don't want to wrap it on there super tight because then it's not going to sit on their heads very nice. So go ahead and just position it on the top in the middle. And you might need to scoot your ears down off to the sides a little bit. And one thing I like to do with the bow, I like to open up the loops, give it a little squeeze, and that will give it a nice bow shape. Okay, and then we can put our ears back where we want them. And that is the mouse ears with a bow. Now one little finishing touch that I like to do on this is to add white polka dots on the bow because polka dots are super cute and everyone loves polka dots. So if you're not already using a white paint pen, go ahead and get yourself one. This is just a Sharpie brand paint pen that I picked up at Michael's Craft Store. It's uh, water-based and I've been pretty happy with it so far. So if you're looking for some suggestions on paint pens, this is what I've been using lately. All right, so there we have our finished product with the polka dots. I think the polka dots just really add a lot to this and just set it off and make it super cute. So here's what it looks like. Let me know what you guys think of this. If you like it, if you try to make this, I would love to see pictures of you or your family or friends or your kids wearing some mouse ears. Just post them on my Facebook page. You can find the link to my Facebook page in the description below. So go ahead and jump on over there and join the fun. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave your comments, suggestions, questions, and whatever else down below in the comment section. I do enjoy reading all of your comments and hearing your feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting me. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.